everyone, it's the Clumsy Simmer, and I am back making another video for you guys today. But this video is a lot different than the other ones that I've been posting. Um, I usually just do speed builds or create a sim videos, and this is a pose making video <laughs> for the Sims 4 gallery. So if you guys don't know this about me, which most likely you don't, you guys don't really know me very well yet, but I also love to make poses for the Sims 4 gallery. Um, I left the Sims 4 gallery for a couple of years. It's just, um, I don't know, I got kind of burnt out with it, overwhelmed, and it just wasn't something I was having fun with anymore. And so I left for a couple of years, and then I just had the Sims bug. If you have played Sims your whole life like I have, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll like leave for a couple years and then all of a sudden like something will like spark your memory and you'll think of it and it's over. <laughs> um, you are back in the game and having fun. So that's what happened with me. But I actually thought I gave up pose making for good. I'm not gonna lie, but I was talking to a friend of mine and just one thing led to another and I got inspired to start making poses and that is where this one came from. And since I have been working on my YouTube thing at the same time, I I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and record it as I'm making it and then I can rewatch it afterwards and see if it's even going to be something that I'm going to be able to post on my YouTube. Uh, so that is what I did here. This is the first pose I've made since leaving uh, the Sims 4 gallery a couple of years ago. So I am pretty rusty when it comes to this, but I don't know. I thought I was going to forget everything when it came to making gallery poses, but it just, it just came back to me. You know what I mean? It just came rushing back to me. Um, I usually find a like picture inspiration online of like family group photos. You know what I mean? So I did not do that this time though. This one came right out of my mind and I don't really, I don't know. Usually I have to look at something and kind of make my pose based off that picture. But this time it just came straight out of my mind. It came rushing out and yeah, I'm quite happy with the way it came out though. I'm not going to lie. It came out pretty good for being kind of rusty and actually right here. Um, let me explain what happened. <laughs> um, so when I used to make, this is a pregnancy pose. Like the, there's like the child, the toddler, a mom and a dad and the mom's pregnant and um I used to when I would make pregnancy poses I didn't think because there's like different rigs you have to export out of Sims 4 Studio and the pregnancy rig um you would have to use just the female adult rig and export it and they don't have like an actual like pregnancy one like it's it says pregnant but when you export the rig it's not pregnant um so i kind of just guessed where the belly would be i figured that's what everybody else did that made gallery poses for pregnant sims and so i'd guess where the belly would be and when you're making sims uh or poses for the sims 4 gallery uh you have to test that pose and so you have to go in and out a hundred million times testing that pose to make sure it's exactly where you want it to be and it looks good and so that is basically what I did with the pregnancy pose um, I would just I would guess where the pregnancy belly was and go in and out of the game and adjust the hand if it was on the belly and whatnot so that is what I used to do and that's what I started to do this time and I got fed up. Let me tell you, I was like, no, there has to be an easier way. And so I just went on Google and I Googled it and I found a, a pregnancy rig. Like, why did I not do that in the past? I don't know. But you live and you learn. And I learned there are, in fact, easier ways to do things. And so that is what I did. I started with the regular adult female rig and then I downloaded the pregnancy one on Google somewhere. 
and then I transferred it over to my pose file and it made it just so much easier let me tell you guys yeah so I was so happy when I found that pregnancy rig but we are actually getting the father into the pose now so yeah I just go over to Sims 4 studio and export the rig and then you have to um, add that rig over to the save file uh, the, the post save file that you have started and that is the same thing that I did with the toddler as well and I really wanted you know the pregnancy belly to show and I really wanted there to be a child in the pose and I wanted the dad to hold the toddler I almost thought to put the toddler on dad's shoulders because I think that's so cute but it would have made me, um, I like my gallery poses for the most part to be as close to the camera as possible. Um, and since we're already having a pregnant Sim in this uh, gallery pose, it's already not going to be that close to the camera. It's going to have to be at least to her midsection, you know, so that her pregnancy belly shows. But yeah, so with that being said, I didn't want to put the toddler on dad's back. So I ended up just having dad hold the toddler and I thought it came out cute. And at the end of this pose, um, it, it pretty much stays the same, but it does change a little bit from what you see at the end of this video because it's that just comes with the territory. When you make a pose for the Sims 4 gallery, expect it to look a little bit different when you're actually in create a Sim and you try to pose them um, when you click the little randomization button. That's how you pose your Sims. And Maxis actually makes their own poses. That's the typical poses you see there. And you can actually change those poses into custom poses. So that's how people make these gallery poses. And yeah, so for the most part, it stays the same, but you have to expect it to change a little bit. And that's just because of the angle of the camera and uh, the height of, you know, the rig. You just have to play around with it. And I actually did not film that part. Maybe next time if this video does well and you guys enjoy actually watching this video, I will probably make another one in the future and I will think about actually recording the process it takes to go in and out of the game. But trust me, that is a lengthy process. Believe it or not, I would say that the actual making of the pose like I'm doing right now is the easy part. And the complicated and monotonous and annoying part is going in and out of the game testing your pose and adjusting the pose to make it look right so that is definitely kind of aggravating <laughs> and that's mainly why i didn't record that process because i knew it was going to take a long time it takes just as long to test your pose and fix little aspects of it than it does to actual actually make it and the process of making it in blender believe it or not but at least for me, it takes me longer to actually test the pose and do last minute changes than it does to make the pose right here. But we actually pretty much have each of the Sims in their place. Um, there is some more fiddling that I have to do with the dad's hands and the toddler's hands as well. And um, I try to make my poses look as natural as possible, but it's... It's not easy to make them look natural. It really isn't. Um, there are some really talented pose makers out there. I would have to say I'm probably just uh, mediocre at this, but definitely if you guys want a how to make gallery poses specifically, there's plenty of videos out there that tells you how to do pose making, but there's not many out there that's gallery specific. So if that's something you guys would like me to think about doing, then definitely let me know and I will plan a video and plan a how-to video or I'll try to anyways. Like I said, <laughs> I'm not the best at it explaining things at all. Um, if you guys haven't noticed that already in the previous videos that I've done, um, I'm pretty horrendous when it comes to explaining things. 
but I'll try my best and it's something I really want to think about doing because when I was learning how to make poses for the gallery, literally I really had to figure it out on my own. I really did. And sometimes that is the best way to learn things, but I figured it out on my own and I really enjoyed doing it and I really enjoy making families on the gallery and so that's what sparked my interest in making poses to begin with was I would see some really beautiful gallery poses and there was like certain ones that I wanted that didn't exist and so that's what sparked me to make gallery poses and I started out with just single Sims and it took me like a year <laughs> to figure out how to make a family um a family pose and i know that sounds really really sad but it's true because there is no youtube videos out there so i don't know i might go ahead and make it even if you guys uh don't tell me you're interested <laughs> i don't know because i feel like it would help somebody out there so uh yeah i am finishing it up i as you can see i kind of had a hard time figuring out the toddler's hand um i'm trying to make him grab his dad's thumb you know what i mean it's it's easier said than done when it comes to pose making like just i want you to grab your dad's thumb like a, a toddler would in real life you know what i mean how they hold your finger i think that's adorable but that's what I'm trying to do, but I'm trying to make it look natural and I'm also trying to make like dad's hand look natural and like kind of like he's kind of like clasping uh, or grasping. <laughs> I don't know what word clasping came from. Kind of like grasping the toddler's hand. Um, and, and yeah, we're pretty much getting it together. This is basically how it stays. That's as good as I could get it. And then that other toddler's hand back there um does not stay like that it kind of i almost just thought about hiding it like that uh but i didn't <laughs> i don't know there's something just weird about hiding one of the arms i've come to realize i've done that in other poses in the past and something about hiding this one of the arms makes it look like they're they're armless you know it just makes it look kind of I don't know off in a way so i kind of just had the toddler resting his hand on dad's shoulder like that and i thought it turned out pretty cute and i had to adjust it a little bit going in and out of the gallery to test the pose but not much the pose basically stays just like this so yeah we are actually nearing the screenshots which just contain uh different families in this pose so if, uh stick around if you're interested in seeing that but with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and I'll make more just like this. The next pose that I make, I will record the process. And I will actually honestly think about doing a how-to video as well. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need